All right, so earlier today we did a sales MPD post about uh, the Nintendo Switch Super Mario 3D All-Stars and pretty much all things MPD for sales report in September. But now we have some more exact numbers coming in uh, that, yeah, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is the best-selling, quote-unquote, 3D Mario game release in the history of Nintendo. Oh boy, before we get into that, I gotta remind you, we are giving away two copies of Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Uh, to enter, like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon, whole bunch of crap. Go follow us on Twitch, all that stuff. There'll be a full laundry list of ways to enter down in the description. You can also enter our Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, or... Uh, Xbox Series X giveaway, and we're also giving away two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Again, all the information is down in the description. Now, this was uh, brought to light uh, over on Reset Era, and I am actually surprised. Now, we know how well the game did. Sixth best-selling physical game uh, in you know Nintendo history in the U.S., but things are even crazier. So... Here are launch numbers for other 3D Mario games in the United States. So Super Mario Sunshine, over one week, sold 350,000. Super Mario Galaxy, over three weeks, sold 1,120,000. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 sold 563,900,000. And Super Mario Odyssey sold 1.1 million. Okay, sounds really, really cool and all that. Uh, so the best-selling one in there is Mario Galaxy at one million one hundred and twenty thousand units because it also had the longest period on the market of three weeks versus one week for a month well super mario 3d all-stars sold one million one hundred and sixty five thousand units retail only not counting a single physical game or a single digital copy you include digital I mean, are we at 1.5, 1.6? This is crazy. To put some context, 3D All Star, uh, 3D All Stars was on sale for two weeks compared to uh, Odyssey's one. So there's an additional week over Mario Odyssey. So Mario Odyssey still might be the fastest selling. Hard to really determine since we're looking at the first, you know, quote unquote, month sales, you know, release month sales. And we don't know 3D All Stars digital sales in the region yet. But seeing how it tops the list week after week. It's got to be doing pretty well. So it's, it's probably going to be selling at least 1.5 million. And then the post goes to say, beyond that, a collection of Mario's, Mario's wonderful past adventures is now the U.S. retail record holder. It's clear that despite Nintendo avoiding a full-on remake, audiences have clamored to relive Mario's genre defining exploits. So, yeah, despite Nintendo not doing what people wanted, they still bought the game in droves and droves and droves. When we had this massive September at the channel and blew up with 1.6 million views, it was because of the excitement for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. We had so many videos, and you guys kept tuning in. And there's a reason you guys kept tuning in, because a lot of you guys were planning to pick up this game regardless of what Nintendo did with it, good, bad, or otherwise. So, yeah, to think that Super Mario 3D All-Stars is now the leading game among all 3D uh, Mario games in terms of launch sales is cr 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 crazy. Now, I can't wait for Nintendo's official numbers so we get the worldwide stuff, which we should have uh, before the end of this year. But, man, I am so excited at how well this game did. Heck, I even own a copy, and I barely dabble in it because I don't replay games I've already beaten before. And since I've already beat all three of these games a couple times in my past, I'm not really playing it that much. I dabbled in each one to see what it looked like in HD, and that was about it. I mean, the footage you're seeing now, like, I, I barely touched these games uh, because I'm good. I'm good. I, I'm not the kind of play person that likes to replay and revisit games, so it was kind of a waste of money, to be honest. I didn't even buy it physically, so I, I can't even argue, oh, I got it for collector's reasons. So I'm not the kind of person that replays games very often. I just wanted to check it out in HD, uh, and so, yeah, collector's value not really retained. But you know what? I have to say kudos to you, Nintendo. You recognized something that was going to be in very high demand for Mario's 35th anniversary, and you delivered. So thank you for doing that and at least giving us the collection because you didn't have to do that. I think that's one thing that needs to be stated here. Nintendo didn't have to give us a collection, and 
just putting them in HD, Nintendo traditionally would charge 60 bucks a pop. So technically, it's kind of a deal compared to Nintendo's usual treatment. I know, doesn't feel like a deal when you compare it to the Crash Insane trilogy. Doesn't feel like a deal compared to the Spyro Reignited stuff. I understand. Activision remastered their games, charged less money. Other companies have done the same thing. I get it. I understand it. I get the criticism. I'm not here to debate that with you. But I will say that these games were obviously in super high demand. Nintendo knew it. They packaged them all together. You can argue it's about 20 bucks each. You know, not too shabby for Nintendo. Again, for Nintendo, not in comparison to the rest of the industry. So yeah, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. It is the king of kings at the moment when it comes to Mario game sales. We'll have to see if it ends up being the greatest Mario selling or the best selling 3D Mario game of all time. Especially considering it's only available to March 31st of next year, according to Nintendo. So we'll have to wait and see. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. Nice short video for you guys to end the day. Have a great one. And be sure to check us out on Twitch tonight at twitch.tv slash Nintendo Prime TV. We'll be live streaming exclusively over there talking about all of this wonderful news today. Q&A in and up. Have a great one. Catch you in the next video.